Okay there, everybody. This is Cholera, and uh, this is set two of the Connor Cup between MIT and Yale. Um, in all honesty, though, this is uh, not done live, actually. I did this game live, uh, which you guys may remember had no sound, um, because, unfortunately, I uh, messed up the encoder um, that I was using, and it muted me. Uh, so I am actually redoing this. I do know the results of Game 2. However, I will uh, only reveal them as the game goes. But uh, in any case, this is a Zerg versus Zerg here. Um, MIT is up 1-0 after the first set, and uh, we've got here Jungstra, the purple Zerg player, playing for uh, MIT here at the 6 o'clock location, and his opponent is July Sick, playing for Yale in blue at the right side, the uh, 3 o'clock location. So yes, uh, no, you know, in in uh, purpose for purposes of disclosure, I do know the results of this game. I casted it, and I was yelling at my computer um, because it was pretty exciting. But uh, I also was not recording anything I was yelling, unfortunately. So uh, you know, this is for posterity for you guys to uh, enjoy, hopefully. Um, so Youngstra looks like uh, he's starting off. Um, Scouting in the wrong direction here. He's got his overlord going to the upper uh, left side, whereas um, we've got July Sick uh, scouting in the right direction. This is Neo Medusa, by the way. Not that it's going to make any difference uh, compared to old Medusa, considering that um, this is a ZVZ. Neither of them is going to be building anything in the middle, except maybe a celebration hatchery or two. Uh, we've got an overlord building for both players. Um, and we could be seeing uh, one of several different types of builds here. We do actually see uh, expansion builds quite common on this map in professional ZVZ. We've seen uh, 12 pool into expand as the standard sort of for Zerg versus Zerg uh, recently. The other common build, of course, is the uh, 9 pool gas and uh, straight into lair. Seems like we've got ourselves a uh, 12 pool here coming from um, Jungstra. And uh, Jungstra also bring down an extractor, uh, so we'll see if he decides to go for an expansion or not. But meanwhile, look at this, July 6th has gone for a in-the-base 12 hatch, so it's actually um, going to be really interesting here. This is actually not that uh, bad of a build. Um, it, it's you know commonly done, done among amateurs, hardly ever done among professional players. Um, I guess they just don't like it very much uh, because it really, it, you know, it, it doesn't really have great uh, value in terms of like your your timing, nor does it have great value in terms of uh, obviously being able to expand um, because you're not expanding. But it is a uh, a pretty decent build if you think that you're not really good at defending, but you can play a longer game. If you think you have better strategy and you don't mind be being slightly behind in tech, um, in exchange, you do get a very safe opening. Uh, safe against pretty much anything, even a 9 pool even. Um, and, and, you know, if someone does uh, try to rush you a couple of times, you know, you're going to win the game because of just having a lot more of everything. Even though you didn't expand, and oftentimes the games don't make it long enough for the expansion to matter. Anyway, it looks like we've seen uh, Youngstra here going straight for Lair without even putting down a second hatchery. He's got himself uh, a couple of lings, and um, he's used his first hunter gas for Lair. Let's see if uh, July 6th done the same thing. No, July 6th has actually used his first hundred gas for speed. I think this is a mistake, actually. Unless he's thinking about... Um, well, especially because he knows the build that Youngstra is going for. Um, Youngstra is going for a lair significantly earlier than him. So unless July 6th is thinking that he can win with just uh, lings, he really shouldn't be doing this. Um, and uh, we'll see if it pays off for him. Generally, you want to go for lair first with your first 100 gas after you go hatchery, uh, 12 hatchery, because, um, of course, you want to uh, not fall too far behind in tech um, compared to your opponent, because you're going to be behind no matter what, pretty much. I mean, there's pretty much no build that's slower in terms of getting your gas in a ZVZ, but uh, still, we'll see what happens here. Looks like July 6th going to get attacked by a small group of Lings. I don't think it's going to be able to do much, though. July 6th definitely has an advantage here in terms of uh, his Ling count, and um, looks like he's going to send out one Ling. It's going to get killed. Notice that Jungstra already has a uh, Spire going up. It's already uh, almost half done, whereas July is still not even done with his Lair. Um... And it uh, looks like he's got speed about the same time that, uh, well, actually, Jungstra, 
yeah, he's got speed also. So both players have speed, and they're both rushing um, towards Jungstra's base. Jungstra playing for Yale, of course, putting up a creep colony. He's going to need it, because uh, right now there's a lot of lings bearing down on him. I'm actually surprised, I'm very surprised that Jungstra didn't build a second hatchery. Um, with a 12-pool opening, you could certainly build one. I guess, uh, I guess he was just... Jeez, I guess he was just building lings, but he really should have a second hatch. But anyway, it looks like July 6th um, manages to win the Zergling War, but a sunken colony does pop up right now, uh, and it seems that um, Youngstra is doing a good job here protecting the sunken with his uh, drones, and wow, the sunken survives with um, 150 health, but July 6th got more lings coming in here, and Youngstra barely is getting his first mutalisk right now. Uh, July 6th, going to go for the uh, Extractor, it seems. Um, no, he's going to go right for the uh, Sunken Colony, and he needs to take this Sunken Colony down, but once again, a drone drill coming from Youngstra. This is going to be close here. Will the Sunken stay up is the question. Uh, sunken stays up with 38 health. Wow, I think that might have been also a little bit of poor micro from July, the way he went in. And wow, look at this. July does not have a Spire yet. Um, he's putting down an evolution chamber at this point, but uh, he is going to be way behind in terms of um, in terms of uh, being able to defend himself uh, from from air attack. And unfortunately for him, Youngstra has gotten one Mulesk over, and I think correctly he's just going to keep it over and try to pick off as many drones as possible. He's already gotten one, um, and we'll see how how well he does. Uh, Youngstra is getting a second sunken colony. Unfortunately, July Zerg not moving in. July sick rather, not July Zerg. Um, he's the sick version of July. Basically, July with maybe horrible um, avian swine flu. Uh, yeah, combination of avian and swine flu and Ebola and um, paralysis. That's probably how July sick is. Um, you know, it, it, that that's what you'd have to do with July Zerg in order to. Uh, make them like this. But anyway, it looks like July 6th has barely any drones left after losing six drones to that one Mutalisk. Wow, finally he gets up a uh, Spore Colony. Spore Colony might pick off this Overlord, but um, at this point, I think he has almost no drones left. He's got two drones. He picks off the Overlord, at least. But he's got two drones, and this drone's not even mining. What is going on? Oh my god. Oh, dude. Go mine! You're one of two workers left in the world. I don't even know what he should build at this point. I mean, I think he should build some Scourge, because... Well, I guess it's between building drones and Scourge, but he needs both. Um, because there's a, a significant air threat coming, uh, and it's just going to be building and building for Jungstra. Jungstra definitely has more drones, even though he did lose uh, maybe one or two in the Ling attacks. Um, he's managed to put up two Sunkins, and this is going to secure him uh, a very, very formidable lead. He also... Um, you know, is behind one one hatchery, but that's not going to make a big difference because, uh, frankly, Jungstra um, has double the drones still, and uh, July sick just just hurting so bad. I mean, it didn't help that even though he went for twelve hatch, and you know that is a economic opening, a good economical opening. Um, he didn't uh, get more drones afterwards. It was just all. Uh, lings afterwards, and um, he really never got himself uh, any kind of good positioning in terms of uh, economics, and now he's forced to build another uh, s creep colony here to avoid losing um, that one dr drone that was damaged, this drone at half health, and uh, Jungstra probably is just going to be able to micro against all of his units, yeah, picking off uh, one drone and forcing another one to become a useless creep colony. I think July should have built at least one pair of Scourge um, at some point, and uh, that probably would be would have chased away these mutas or discouraged them from doing what they're doing. And looks like July moving out here with his lings, but he doesn't spot the fact that Jungstra, in a very brilliant move, has managed to hide some lings. And now he's going in against a base that's mainly undefended here, and he's going for the spore colony. That's a smart play here um, because now, wow, this is just horrible. Jungstra is going to have free reign over the air here. It's pretty much over for him. Uh, for July in the air. Now he's going to go for the big counterattack. Can he manage to do enough damage? No! He realizes he cannot do enough damage, and uh, he ends the game by GGing. Um, I, I think that was really a very exciting game. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, July 6th just was unable, uh, just unable, man, to uh, to be able to 
uh, come up with a good offen- offense. I think it came close, though. I, c- I, I certainly think he almost killed Youngstra off. Um, and, and it's just unfortunate that uh, the timing of his uh, uh, of, of his spire was that late. I mean, honestly, I think he should have seen it coming and probably put down a spore colony a little bit earlier. Uh, however, uh, that is the end of set two. So at the the end of this game, Yale is down 0-2 to two against MIT. Uh, stay tuned, of course. Uh, we'll click to the next video for game three. Thanks for watching.